Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. All right, and I guess I'm going to title this uh, various topics, uh, just going into a uh, few things um, that I recently uh, saw. I just got through watching this video. Uh, by uh, the elder brother Karataza, Jim as Vegas sit downs 144K. All right, always on the case, <laughs> and uh, the title of the video. All right, Satan got to keep the masses distracted to divert from his evil devices. Be vigilant, and um, as I always say, everything that happens, and specifically, um that you see on TV, dealing with Hollywood, dealing with uh, media, you know, um, a lot of it is all fake. You know, 99% um, of what you see, all right, um, is scripted in a lot of cases. Um, and uh, this new ordeal that everybody's talking about, everybody's doing memes on it, I'm already tired of even seeing it, you know, uh, is this uh, ordeal here where Will Smith, you know, after uh, a few years of being buck broken, all right, which that's the common theme of Babylon the Great, you know, uh, buck breaking, you know, uh, the Israelite men um, and uplifting all of these weirdos. Um, over the last few years, this guy has just been, you know, <laughs> ran through by the media, his woman. You know, uh, came out on him, supposedly uh, dealing with someone else. That's who he should have slapped. Both of them, all right? But you have this uh, ordeal here that was at the uh, Oscars, which the Oscars of late, you know, they were losing ratings, you know. So uh, they used Jake here, which these are two actors, all right, two uh, good actors at that. And uh, you have this ordeal where uh, Chris Walk was calling out, you know, this dude's woman, you know, for that, her head, that, that Vander Holyfield head. All right, I guess she has some sort of uh, disease to where she had to lose her hair, whatever the hell it is. So he went up there and slapped him, you know, and now uh, that's the talk of the town. You know, meanwhile, look at the times we're living in. You know, this this just shows you how low America has actually, you know, become, you know, and how low the people are, man. Because in the midst of your so-called president telling you that we're getting ready to establish a, a new world order. You know, uh, amidst all of the hell going on, look at the threats that are going back and forth between uh, Biden and Putin. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're openly telling you food shortages are coming, telling you. Okay, and we know it's all manufactured. You know, with all of these things happening, you know, the gas prices, you know, uh, which the moves that Biden is making, the moves that America is making is only going to make it harder for you Americans. But you Americans don't have any sense. You know, you Americans don't have any sense. So all the elite have to do is is put, you know, something like this out there and that, you know, the people forget what's really happening around them and as prophets we have to continuously put this mindset out all right that you have to be vigilant because everything that happens especially in these times is, a, is an attack on the mind remember all right as the scripture said he would do i mean he's he's literally all right if you listen to you know uh claw swab Okay, if you listen to the elite, if you look around you, you clearly see they're, they're, they're getting ready to do something. All right, they just put out another boogeyman with the threat of a, uh, you know, a, a, a outage, a grid attack. And that's going to be blamed on, on Russia. But meanwhile, this is the talk, this is the main talk amongst Jake. Is this garbage right here. Now... Let's go to the book of uh, Second Chronicles 2 and 11. 
you know, you have some brothers who get mad. Everything ain't fake, man. Look, you were in Babylon the Great, brother. <laughs> so, sooner or later, you'll learn. You know, now some brothers, you know, have their opinions about it. It is what it is. Right, but overall, to hell with all of these people. All of these people are a part of something satanic. Who gives a damn what the hell they do? All right, but everywhere you look now, this is a meme. Everywhere you look now, this is all everybody's talking about. Second Chronicles 2 and 11, lest Satan should get advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And the brother brought out everything that needed to be brought out. You know, we don't have to go too deep into that, you know, but as this title says, Satan has got to keep the masses distracted. Okay. To divert from his evil devices. Now, what is his evil devices? What is he doing around you? Okay. What, what's happening around you? Stuff like this. Home buying, digital ID scheme approved for FCA testing. You, you're noticing all of this digital talk now. Okay? And you stupid ass Americans, you have no idea of what's coming. You still think, all right, in the coming years, you're going to be using paper money. You know, living it up. That's why this, this, uh, this place is described. In Jeremiah 49 and 31, arise, get you up to the wealthy nation that dwelleth without care. You, you people have no care. You people are sad. You people are through. Okay? You give your energy over to these things. And, like, it becomes like a, a literal, like, <laughs> I mean, goodness gracious. Arise, get you up to the wealthy nation. And all of these people are sick. Will Smith, Jada Pinkett, Chris Rock, they're all a part of something satanic. They are not with you niggas. Okay? If you if you at the Oscars with Esau and you're getting that award, okay, you're a part of something satanic, man. Straight up. All of them, that, all of these people that are, you see on TV and that are in front of you, all of them are sick and live some very weird satanic lifestyles. Hollywood is nothing but a Babylonian church, okay? The, the hollow wood goes back uh, uh, to the Roman Empire, you know, a city of magic. OK, when you go to Hollywood, the, the interest to Hollywood is a Babylonian wall. All right. As a matter of fact, let's see if we can pull that up. Let's see if it comes up. It should come up. You know, you could even get that on Google, but we know now we're there. They're in a time of suppressing a whole, a whole hell of a lot. All right. But um, let's read this again here. Arise. And this is ultimately what's going to happen to these to Babylon the Great. These different nations are going to arise and get you up to the wealthy nation that dwelleth without care, saith Yahweh, which have neither gates nor bars, which dwell alone. All right. And we we just did an article. We just went into an article on one of the latest news and prophecies where, you know, pretty much all of America's allies are turning against them. America's defense system, you know, as far as war is, is, is not up to par. They're spread thin. All of the, the uh, they're being brought into the border for a snare. They that ate their, their you know, their debt. And we're at peace with them are now, you know, uh, looking for ways away from the uh, petrodollar. So we're living in some very, very important times that we should hone in on. And not get too caught up in the affairs of this world. Now we're here, we're in the world, right? But we don't want to be in the spirit of these stupid ass people in this world, man. Now when you read this in the NLT, it says, go up and attack that complacent nation. All right. And the American people are complacent. This is the most complacent. All right. Uh, uh, place in the world right now. And everywhere you look, they're mocking this place. It's becoming a laughing stock. You got a judge who is a woman who can't define what a woman is. 
Okay, you have uh, an agenda being forced upon children that is completely satanic. The religious system, you know, the, the, the morality, everything, the food, the health of the people. This is the most complacent place in the world, man. When you look up the word complacent, okay, let's keep reading it here. It says, go up and attack that complacent nation, says the Lord. Its people live alone in the desert, and this is the desert. Okay, this is the uh, the the valley of the shadow of death. Okay, <laughs> the only water running in this place is from the elect, man. Everything else is 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 satanic. All right, it says its people live alone in a desert without walls or gates. All right, it says uh, complacent, showing smug or uncritical satisfaction with oneself or one's achievements, and everything these people do, we should be scrutinizing it scrutinizing it everything Esau comes out with we should be critical of it smug self-satisfied pleased with oneself proud you got the social media age selfies self-approving where a complete loser can get on the internet and upload folly and become a, a, a superstar man so this is that complacent all right wealthy nation you can overeat you can overbuy, you can leave food in the refrigerator until it stinks. They don't do the, the, the things that happen over here in America in these different places. How much excess you've been allowed to have in America, and it's all getting ready to be taken away from you. And it's going to come as a thief in the night, but for us who are rooted, all right, and, and vigilant, all right, we're going to, you know, the wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of our time. So... This is that complacent nation. They're not. They're. They're not really uh, criticizing. Oh, another thing that's happening right now uh, as to why they're putting out distractions is the uh, reactions to the, uh, you know, the jump shot. Okay, a lot of people are, are coming out. All right, even so-called reputable people within Esau's system are like, wait a minute. There's a lot of bad reactions. A lot of athletes through. Just dropping young, healthy Jakes and people around the world now all of a sudden have, you know, all of these issues in their system that they didn't have before. And still, these you Americans ain't scrutinizing or questioning these people. Now, as I said earlier, let's see if we can pull it up here. Hollywood is nothing more than a Babylonian church. Why do you think <laughs> the entrance to Hollywood, why do you think you see these Babylonian gods? All of this is Babylonian. This is the entrance into Hollywood. Okay, so all of the people that are juiced in and linked into Hollywood and who get to a, a particular point or level, they're, 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 they're all under witchcraft, sorcery, they, they're involved in all kinds of weirdo uh, lifestyles, you know, orgies. Okay, and you think these people are regular, and you think these Oscar awards, okay, are just some, you know, uh, a compliment. The, these people got a lot going on, and it's, and it's happening at a rapid rate in these times. Okay? So the hell with some goddamn Will Smith and some goddamn Chris Rock. They're, they're flames. Chris Rock dressed up as a woman. Okay? So the hell with, with, with some damn Babylon. Okay? Because meanwhile, they're, they, they got all of this garbage going on. All right? Which there was a particular movie. I forget the name of the movie, but Chris Rock and I believe Bernie Mac was in it. As this brother was talking about. And at the very beginning of the scene... You know, the movie Chris Rock, Rock got slapped. So he, he, he knows how to be slapped and make it look real. You think on the biggest so-called stage, you know, the Oscars, that everything that goes on here ain't controlled? Okay? He's going to go amongst his Edomite peers and, 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 and slap another Jake. All right, but the, the dude, dude been wimped out 
for the past, you know, two years, just dragged through the mud, crying, because they're feminizing the, the so-called black man. Okay, this is trashy. Everything is trashy, man. Anyway, um, let's see here. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, U.S. E-Cash. All right, Bill proposes digital currency that replicates cash, bypasses the Fed. See, now it's bypassed the Fed. So while more and more garbage is thrown at your mind, more and more they are establishing what the hell we've been telling you they're going to establish through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. Okay, you can look these things up. We ain't got to go too much into it. We've been telling you about the CBDCs. We've been telling you about the digital dollar. Well, what did, what did I got to do with the, with the Bible? Well, John the Revelator saw something happen and take place at the very end of this man's system. In Revelation, the 13th chapter, and then in Revelation, the 14th chapter, he also saw the elect men. All right. Singing a new song saying, if you if you if you do or take what this devil is trying to bring. All right. Which is going to, you know, shift the way you uh, buy and sell. If you take that, which, as we know, according to the scriptures, buying and selling is uh, tied to sin. You know, when, when it comes to how people buy and sell, sin can be easily attached to that. Because it's how people eat and it's how people make money. All right. And when it's all said and done with a few next, you know, false flags, something could very well be issued to you and you'll be tempted. OK, this is what matters right now. United States House bill proposes a Treasury issued hardware secured and anonymous from form of digital cash. And it's coming from all angles. Okay. And they're acting like they're debating these things. No, this is where they're going. Okay, you're going to see these little news stations. What could be the, the, the downfalls of it? Or what, you know, as if they're really against it. it, it it's coming, man. Okay, look what's going on in Jamaica. Look what's going on worldwide, man. Australia. Okay. You're holding the money on your device. If you lose your device, you lose the money. That's the risk. Just like if you lose your physical wallet on the train, you lose all the money inside of the wallet. Well, how can they take care of this this worry right here? What 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 way do you think they can take care of this worry right here? All right, cuz you can lose your phone, you can lose your wallet. Okay? You can throw your phone in the ocean, but you're not going to jump into the ocean. Well, all they would have to do is say the, the, the fix is to all of these, you know, uh, fraud alerts and all of these lost, you know, wallets, all of these lost this, that, phones. Well, now we have the final solution, and this is going to keep everybody safe, peace and safety. Okay? So you can look this article up and read it on your own. I'm not going to get too much into it okay but um isaiah 47 and 12 stand now with thine enchantments everything that you see around you is an enchantment man everything you're in babylon the great and and we're at the end of esau's world okay so a lot of the stuff presented to you a lot of the stuff that goes on in this world is fake and it's meant to alter your perception of reality and is meant to hide the true intent of what they're planning on doing. Okay? And we talked about bread and circuses. Give them bread and circuses and they won't realize what we're doing. The more bread and circuses you give them, which bread and circuses are likened to, you know, your sports, your Hollywood you know, uh, uh, you know, 20, 20 hot wings, all right, for $4, 
you know, just give them bread and circuses. And, you know, they did it in Rome, you know, and what's really happening, we will be able to hide it more. So what did they start to do once they saw that these bread and circuses, you know, pretty much kept the people's mind occupied? They started to build more stadiums. OK. So and with the multitude of thy sorceries. All right. They're, they're, they're pumping chemtrails into the sky. They're putting all types of wickedness into the food. Everything that's on TV is wicked and evil and, and an attack and assault. All right. On your how about Shimiao Shai, first and foremost, but on the mind. And he's labored from his youth. All right. From the, you know, the, the, the 1776. <laughs> all right. Until now, they've been planning what, what you see happening around you. OK. He's been planning this. I mean, really technically going all the way back you know to when he was uh Esau was uh helping the Babylonians he always had a plan to get in the position where he is and to declare that he he's the children of the most high all right and ultimately try to you know become the most high on earth so in order to get away with something like that and to you know he needs some heavy enchantments but see, we're living in a time where the diviners are being made, uh, they're being frustrated by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Pretty soon you're going to see a, a, a video breaking down the whole thing. OK. You know, uh, uh, dealing with this. This is a call for an uprising and everybody's just going to break it down and show you that it was some bullshit. All right. It is. All right, but you know, good for Will. You got your manhood back. Okay? <laughs> you got your manhood back, but so called a man that you invited into your house ended up laying with your woman and you crying and forgiving her. Then every week after that, this nigga was crying. Uh, this happened to me when I was little. My mama, J every week. Just weak, man. Now you slap this guy, all right, behind a joke at the Oscars. Ain't that, ain't that what, I mean, he's a comedian, all right? <laughs> I mean, that's what he's supposed to do. But you think, y'all you, really think that these two boule, you know, the, the juiced in Jakes, that like, he's going to come to the white man's established Oscar after niggas been crying for years. We need to be more involved and just go slap somebody on the stage. Esau's the perfect demon. Now everybody's talking about it. So if so, stand now with all of these enchantments. If so, thou shalt be able to profit. If so, all right, be thou mayest prevail. All right. Let's see if you're gonna prevail. All right, and you're going to come with more false flags because a, a real slap is coming from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and with the right hand. It says, Thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators, and that's what a lot of these dudes are on the left hand side. A lot of these people are, are, are witches and warlocks on the left hand side. They're involved in, you know, Scientology, all of this garbage. All right, then you have the higher up of the elite because these people they put in front of you are all, you know, uh, uh, you know, a part of the plan as well. They they help to invoke demons on the people to keep you entertained, confused. All right. But then you have the higher level ones, you know, who, <laughs> you know, these Edomites with the, their technology and everything trying to figure out a way to get out of the judgments that's coming their way. So let's see if these things can stand up and save thee from the things that shall come upon you. OK, and that's not going to happen. OK, at some point, you Edomites are going to lose. OK, and we clearly see what's happening around us. All right. Why is home buying going digital? Why is it the digital everything? Digital this, digital that. What, what's the fourth industrial revolution? These are the things that need to be talked about right now. Meanwhile, our people are stuck on stupid, man. 
Okay? Okay? You got you got the the the, the powers that be, you know, th- this new technology is coming. You had a guy who just had all right, one of these things. And what happened? You know, he 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 was paralyzed, he couldn't talk. Well, now he he wakes up asking for a beer. So they're moving forward with their technology, with their plan, according to as the scripture says. So that's where we should be locked in at at the end of the day. Okay? Because we're clearly in those times, man, where the scriptures say Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. So we got to be sober. Okay? And not ignorant of his devices. We're living in a war. This is the worst time ever, man. <laughs> this is the worst rulership ever. But it's also the best time ever for because the elect getting ready to be delivered. Okay? First Peter 5 and 8. Be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Now, another thing I wanted to address real quick. All right, this is a video, same page. Um, Subscribe, be edified, GMS Vegas, sit downs 144K. All right, because you have uh, this guy, Vocab Malone, GMS Israelites say they'll throw tanks in the future. Now, this dude is absolutely engulfed in the Israelites, man. I mean, that's all he talks about. Now, what are your elite planning on doing? How about that? What are your, what is, what is, what is, what is, uh, Klaus Schwab, what is his plan for the future? You want to, you mind talking about that vocab? One second here. Of course you won't talk about that because ultimately you're working for their interest. Okay, you're you're a form of a witch and a warlock on the left hand side. You're 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 in the uh, spirit of an enchanter trying to paint this narrative. That, you know, the the Israelites are absolutely now the scriptures say the house of David shall be as God. That's really all we need. Imagine look at the mighty works that our forefathers did and how Christians act like. When it comes to spiritual power and Israelites, like like you're crazy. All right. Real quick. Get something real quick. Zechariah, the 12th chapter. I mean, really, this says it all. Okay. And the scriptures say we're going to be like Yahweh Shai. Okay. The sons of God. Now, when the Lord puts that power, that spirit in us, sky's the limit. Okay? And if you don't believe in spiritual power, you don't understand the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, this book just ain't for you. And you got Israelites even in that spirit. Okay? No breath in them. Zechariah 12 and 8. And that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And how is he going to defend us? Well, the scriptures say, as birds flying, shall he defend Jerusalem. Okay, and a Christian will say, well, see, you're not in Jerusalem. Well, wherever the elect are is Jerusalem. According to the Holy Scriptures, we are that physical, all right, that 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 uh, spiritual temple in these physical bodies. Okay. And he that is feeble among them, the least amongst us, shall be as David. Okay, now David fought lions. I mean, he was a mighty man. The Lord blessed him with some serious skills. Leaping over walls. And the house of David, which is the governing body, shall be as God, as the angel of the Lord before them. Now, we're literally going to be gods on earth. Okay, now ants can pick up like 10 times their body size. 
Okay? Like nothing. Well, what the hell you think the man of the Lord going to do when the spirit's on him? Okay? The scripture said the house of David shall be as God. And that takes us back to the beginning. In the beginning, what? The Allah Hayyam created the heaven and the earth. Divine ones, rulers, judges. We're going to return to our heavenly estate and be able to rule on earth. In spiritual bodies. God-like. Meaning you'll be a God on earth. So throwing a tank would be nothing. And we wouldn't even have to touch it. We can move it with our mind. That's the type of power that's coming to the elect. God like works or special possessions of God. Now, while you're sitting here mocking the Israelites, and as this brother said, yes, we'll be able to do greater things, vocab. We will receive power. Absolutely. And we, we can't look towards nothing. We can't have an imagination. We can't uh, go into the scriptures because hey, when you go into the scriptures, the, the, there was a point where one was chasing a thousand. Let me see if I can pull that up. Leviticus 26 and 8. And five of you shall chase an hundred. This is if we stayed in on point with the Lord. And that means his angel is protecting you. Yahawashai. He's hovering. He's covering you. In the wilderness, as we, you know, the, the, those mighty wars and acts were done because of that angel. But, but, but literally the most high is going to dwell in us when we get those new bodies. So we're going to do this and more on a whole nother level. Five of you shall chase in hundred and a hundred of you shall put 10,000 to flight and your enemies shall fall before you by the sword. Okay. Deuteronomy. 32 and 30, how should one chase a thousand and two put 10,000 to flight except their rock had sold them and the Lord had shut them up? Okay. One, one, uh, uh, Joshua 23 and 10, one man of you shall chase a thousand for the Lord, your God, he is, he is, it is, he is it that fight it for you as he have promised you. So one man chasing a thousand people. OK, when the Lord is with you, how much more when he puts the law, statutes, commandments in our inward part and we get those new bodies and we be we're literally going to be gods on earth, man. Sky's the limit. OK, so what, while, while you're sitting here mocking us for going into prophecy and, you know, uh, you know, the, the, the truth of the Bible, look, look what your elite are doing. Look what the look what your kind is doing. Okay, this type of garbage. Hell, your 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 elites are talking about. All right, putting digital alls in people, for and and to <laughs> to track them forever. Is that is that normal vocab? Is that cool? ACLJ warns proposed Maryland Senate bill could legalize inf infanticide up to 28 days after birth. So the child can have been born and 28 days later, you're, you'll be able to abort it. You'll be able to, you know, and this shows you we're in a satanic land. We're in a satanic world. We're in a satanic rulership. Because. Those are uh, Planned Parenthood, and, and how is it called Planned Parenthood when the plan is to, to to off it? That's the plan. And what do you think they're doing with all of these uh, dead fetuses? And, uh, 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 and well, now shit, it can be 20, 28 days old. But this is nothing to talk about. This guy is sitting around here following the Israelites around still. And what scripture said that the, uh, you know, you're supposed to follow people around all day and that's all you talk about. You're supposed to be using this Bible to condemn this world.
Let's look up this word here. This is a sick world, man. And it's nothing really much to go into it. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to be able to do whatever the hell we want to do in righteousness in the kingdom of heaven. Okay, the term infanticide, all right, is the in intentional killing of infants or offspring. Okay, this shows you we're in, uh, we're in, uh, the, the, this is the, the new Canaan. Okay, and when you look up the Amalekites, all right, who, inhab who inhabited parts of Canaan, and they're there now, inhabiting it, all right, along with other heathen, all right, they were, they were, they were heavily into, uh, you know, the, uh, sacri you know, the killing of infants, and that, sin that spirit runs, this, 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 it's all over the world, okay, but this is cool, now the scriptures ain't, ain't for that. <laughs> the scriptures ain't for that man you're supposed to be fruitful and multiply now in a a scenario like babylon the great you want to you know chill on that and the lord has things on the earth all right you know uh he has natural uh forms of uh contraceptives man negro pepper all right you can look that up a woman drink that uh before y'all lay together you know, that decreases the chances uh, 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 neem oil. You can look that up. All right, but overall, in a righteous society, you wouldn't even have to worry about that. The scriptures tell you clearly not to cast your young. So where is this 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 uh uh Christianity being the MOTB gonna? At what point are we gonna see? These things speak because this world is going further and further and further from the Bible. And this dude, Vocab Malone, doesn't understand when it's all said and done, his elites are going to come against him. He's going to uh, uh, be an enemy of the state. The, don't you so-called believe in the Bible? They're going to ban it. And then your who you who you really are is going to come out. Because really, Vocab Malone don't believe in the Bible. OK, he believes in trying to disprove the Israelites. We got you Christians trying to be on fire now. All right. But the average Christian is for everything that's going on in this world. They don't have a problem with it. OK. Exodus 23 and 26. There shall there shall nothing cast their young. Nor be barren in thy land. The number of thy days will I fulfill. The word cast, as we always show you, all right, shakal, to be bereaved, to make childless, to miscarry, to make childless, show barrenness, show barrenness or abortion. So the scriptures ain't with that. Okay. Now, where are you Christians at? On this, the fact that it's even being talked about. You all don't have nothing to say about nothing. You're still following the Israelites around. Meanwhile, Satan's kingdom is being set up on earth and you don't have nothing to say. The Israelites said they're going to throw tanks in the future. Ooh, GMS said this. You are like a big child, my man. And I see you got that beard. Won't, won't you tell K-Dub uh, to grow a beard? That dude looks crazy. He may be a Moabite. Spirit ain't with that guy. So meanwhile, you, you're you following the Israelites around. Look what's happening around us, man. Okay? <laughs> Furthermore, Americans are leaving church and not coming back. Okay? So you need to worry about, you know, the, 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 the mass exodus. All right? That your, your, your religion... Is facing. Okay. <laughs> it says in Matthew 11 and 29 of the Bible. The Messiah calls for all those who labor and are ready 
I mean, are heavy laden and the Christians ain't heavy laden. Christians love this world, man. Okay. To come to him for rest, a rest that the church has promised new converts for centuries. Now, the true church is having new converts. Okay. As a matter of fact, let's get Isaiah the first chapter. Let's get Isaiah the first chapter. And uh, 26, and I will restore thy judges as at the first in that angelic godlike state, the Allah I am. We're going to go back to that, you know, uh, uh, glory and thy counselors as at the beginning. See, we were when we were with Yahweh Shai in the beginning, doing the, the, the will of the most high God, Yahweh. OK. Well, we're going to return to that. That's going to be the government of the new world, man. Afterward, thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city, New Jerusalem. Zion shall be redeemed with judgment and her converts with righteousness. Now, the converts are of Zion, Israel. What does Zion mean? Monument. All right. To Zion. Okay. A parched place, another name for Jerusalem, especially in the prophetic books. All right. But it also means monument. And we were that parched place, but the Heavenly Father has poured water upon us. Signpost Monument Market, all right, to Zion Monument, something you remember. Is not the Lord going to remember the Israelites? But Christianity is trying to do everything they can to take focus off of the Israelites and say, well, the Most High did away with Israel. Now, you know, the covenants are open to everybody. And here it is. We're fulfilling prophecy as the heirs to the promise being converted while this cesspool of iniquity called Christianity is withering up. A new report released Thursday by the American Enterprise Institute shows, however, that despite the proven benefits of belonging to a faith community, Americans are increasingly leaving organized religion with each subsequent generation and the majority aren't coming back. All right, because there is no uh, uh, water being Tread, man, is is ultimately is stagnant. The Christian church is stagnant. It's dry. It's played out. The men are weak. The women are bold. The doctrine is old. How in the hell can this be the MOTB? As dry and wicked as this is, where, 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 when have you seen Claus Schwab talk about Jesus Christ? When have you seen Biden bring out a scripture or, or go into the the Bible outside of swearing in on it? And then the very next day, signing uh, satanic laws into place. These people don't care about the Bible, man. But overall, people are leaving the church because there's no answers. In the report, Generation Z and the future of faith in America. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Young adults today have had Entirely different religious and social experience than previous generations did. The parents of millennials and Generation Z did less to encourage regular participation in formal worship services and model religious behavior in their children than had previous generations. And as the world has become more anti-Messiah, the church has joined in with it. So people see that the, the, the church ain't no answers in there. People who were hardcore Christians, they, you ask them about church, they don't even go no more. You see, but a lot of them are just becoming, you know, they just don't have no belief, really they don't know what's going on. A lot of them turn to witchcraft, science. All right. Uh, whoredom, wickedness. You know. Lovers of pleasure, and, and that becomes their new religion. Or a lot of them are, are founding out they're Israelites. Okay? And what is the doctrine of Christianity? What ultimately is the standard of it? What What's the lifestyle? Do you follow Israelites around? Eat whatever the hell you want to eat? Okay? Dad, I seen a dead armadillo on the road. I'm, you know, can I bring it? Home, you're sure we can eat it. 
All things are clean. What type of doctrine is that to teach that Peter, Yahweh Shai from the heavens told Peter to eat, you know, caterpillars and, and you know, fox and unclean animals? Like, wh why would he tell him that? Well, how would that have benefited Peter? Well, we broke all of that down in the last video I did on the through the stupidity of you Christians, man. So while you're sitting up here following the Israelites around, you got a problem on your hand. Look at this guy. Look at this. This, this is the average Christian. And um, I think because of. We're going to be talking about the new record, Lion. We're Look at these people. Worship and all that the Lord has put on his heart. Chris, thank you for chatting with me. I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me. This is a Christian. Yes, it's, it's always awesome to talk to a fellow worshiper. I'm a worship leader as well. Um, I am always excited to hear what God is doing and stirring in other people. So you got Lion. Lion is here the album before we really get into it though i want to talk because there might be people who don't even know how elevation music came to be what it is today so yeah. if you can kind of give us a little synopsis that'd be awesome yeah I'll, I'll try my best to do give a snapshot so the church we're a part of a church come on now this guy is a, is a leader she's a leader Nobody takes Christianity serious anymore. And when you go into this, they're giving us statistics, which you don't even need the statistics. All we have to do is look. Only only, only uh, people in those churches is retired hoes, okay, and uh, 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 broke down uh, Jake men. Nobody give a damn about going into the, these well-kept, because when you look at it, it looks clean. It's a well-kept monument of failure. And the slave master, okay, he's in the street. No, you're going to worship whatever the hell I tell you to worship. You can't have a thought of anything better. You're black. You're African-American. Stick to that. You know, because somehow this guy always skips over the small hats. As a matter of fact, let's look these, uh, let's look these guys up real quick. See if it goes into it here. This is cool, you know. Planning to, you know, just attract people forever. You know, aborting babies, you know, uh, twenty-eight days after their birth. You know, all that stuff is cool. You know, these people. <laughs> oh man like what are they doing where, where what scripture says to do this and this was a piece of the wall that that uh herod you know added that's the outer court uh, you know the and, and the temple was destroyed you know But I ain't really going into it. I mean, somehow this is all normal, you know. The, the, what scripture said to the? Oh, this is these guys. This is uh, this is uh, oh Yahoo, Deborah Yahoo. But anyway, you you look it up, you know, pretty much <laughs> they go and cry, you know, to this wall. And it's just like, well, what scripture says to do that? What scripture says to, 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 to worship out of the, the Talmud?
gateway to heaven. Look, look, look at this. Yeah, we're going to have to go into these guys right here. Yep, the Talmud teaches that all prayers ascend to the heaven. So, w wait a minute. The Talmud can be mixed with the Bible? But anyway, man. I got to roll. You know, the, the the man of sin is, you, know, you Edomites are through, man. So, uh, uh, vocab, <laughs> get lost, man. Shalom.